one piece exactly because I saw him a little bit. I saw him be beast. Um, who is he? Who? Wonders was a uh, Pokemon trainer wolf that actually beat beast previously, and then he lost his attack in the previous round. Speaking of wolf, uh, we're gonna have not the matchup that we even remotely expected. It is instead of the Power Ditto or the Power Banjo, it is the Banjo Wolf. <laughs> The wolf from Hydra. Uh, this is new to me. I haven't seen it. All I saw was a Palutena, and I also saw, I believe, his boy. Well, it might be a little bit mistaken, but uh, cross up about fair. Yeah, uh, one of the most difficult things about challenging Banjo's recovery is he can recover high. Like Banjo has a phenomenal, like, like, vert like I want to say his vertical movement is so so good. And Wolf is like not able to challenge that unless he like goes for the double jump back here, which is so committed. Right, it uses up effectively every resource that Wolf has. And at that point, Banjo can now very, very reliably take his time on coming down. Like while Wolf is so easy, like even though he went through the double jump, Ray was so well uh, above Hydra, like, he was just unable to special it, but that's going to be the F tilt, mm. playing the matchup super well, catching the landings and still trying to challenge him in the air. And so last hit of that Wonder Wing is going to be what clips. Uh, one of the things that is like I see a, a lot, well, I see out of Ban Ray's banjo is how he's, he's not really, he doesn't use Wonder Wing in a lot of situations. His punish game is a lot more reliant on, or not necessarily reliant, but he uses a lot more of the grenade conversions. And while those are good, they won't kill nearly as early as Wonder Wing can. Mm -hmm. So. And with a character like Wolf, who, is, who can sometimes be very, very content to pull out the gun and or land with, uh, land with Nair or land with Fair, you can just bully right past all of those with Wonderland sometimes. Granted, five times per stock, but not something you want to do frequently. But yeah. something that you want to, you want to put that inkling into, into his head sometimes. I do just think it's a really good job of controlling the stage, sort of not letting Ray play his game, he's playing play with a shutdown. But right now, Ray finally getting a lead, whiffing the one wing, thinking he was going to be able to catch the landing, but Hydra are very smart to control his to control his fastball. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to scout an air dodge or something. Up till, oh, okay, just went for the up smash. 50 50s. 50 50s. One of few in this game, uh, which is a blessing, I would say. Uh, thinking uh, Gray was maybe going to try to mash an aerial and perhaps go for an air dodge. We saw like Hydra back off a little bit to get a bit of a uh, bigger punish. I like that kind of restraint, even though it like didn't connect. He like has like the discipline to like not get through with his punishes. Ray's looking for space with a lot of his banjo play, using a lot of these uh, the egg the eggs and the grenade egg. Excuse you know, me. Hydra does a great job of just shutting down uh, exactly where Ray, uh, Ray wants to be spacing himself. And he's not he's not over aggressive as well. He's just he's taking the damage where it comes, when it comes, and knows that Ray will have to eventually give him more opportunities for damage uh, due to him being at such a deficit. So yeah. he's taking this slow and he's taking it calm. But Banjo can Banjo has a scary high damage output if he lets him get if uh, if he's able to get all of his conversions and all of his hits in. And back air is such a great tool for walling out. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice, uh, nice just placement of the grenade there. Like knowing that's where Hydra wants to be on the ground. I just noticed that Hydra is still on two stocks. Ray has a oh, chance yeah. to climb. If he wants to be able to take this game, tries to go through the grab, which would have been the uh, the barely uh, into death setup. Of Smash not gonna kill Banjo quite yet. Banjo relatively heavy as so he fights smart. right through the way. That was so good. He was he conditioned this entire game for uh, Hydra to laser all of his grenades, and then like the one time he does go for a laser on his grenade to like try to stuff it out, he's like, okay, I'm gonna side be an arm with you all that. He still has quite the damage hill to climb, but you know it all starts with that one grab. And able to catch a lot of these a couple of these landings and these jump air dodges coming out from uh, coming out from Hydra though Wolf's amazing airspeed lets him get to the other side of the stage using yeah I was just jump. I was just about to say that the way that um, Hydra like in this kind of a matchup Banjo has one of the most limited airspeeds in the game Wolf has you know very very good one 
Um, he's just like able to outmaneuver Lei in every single coin and fleshy situation and in every single juggle. And I love the shield DI coming out from coming out from Ray, making sure to really avoid a lot of these landing options coming out from. Ooh, okay. Close to the league left, I, thinking he'd be able to get. Me off. Not you, as Ray oh. cut me off with a potential amazing conversion, but he didn't get the last hit. The drag down hits him there. Yeah, the drag down nail is a little bit inconsistent. It's definitely one of the most funky, multi hitting, like spinny nail moves in the game. Because, like, the, I don't know why, but the developers are so keen on programming it differently every single time. And I just noticed that Ray has brought this all the way back, basically. Yep, yeah, but he's in a rough pick, rough spot, but he avoids the F tilt, not angled down from Hydra's uh, part. Ooh, that's a scary interaction, right? That was such an aggressive way to get back onto stage where he just threw his good in. It's like, I'm gonna run up and shield, I'm gonna keep dashing and shielding until I get back center stage. That Hydra was definitely not anticipating that. This is even place in this game right now. He's gonna go for he's the fine. back throw. Yeah, he's fine. He's chilling. Wolf's kill throw is like not a kill throw. It is, but it's not. I now love that. Is. That was so good. Yeah, that's gonna definitely go. Um, I love what Ray did. He went for, even though it didn't work out in the end, he went for a high recovery, knowing that Wolf cannot possibly challenge him in that airspace, and then used the grenade to cover his landing. Because, like, if you're Banjo, your most difficult part is obviously gonna be landing against Wolf. He sets up the grenade preemptively, and that's how he's able to get back onto stage, but then loses the next neutral into action and dies to a back throw, sadly. So I do, I do really, really like the way that uh, Ray chose to copy Ray. But it was, it was very nice, really spicy. Yeah, his banjo definitely got more improved in the matchup and in in his execution as the game went on. As we saw a two stock high percent deficit turn, suddenly turn into a last hit situation. Mm -hmm. So I would not be surprised to see it run right back PS2 Banjo Wolf. Or perhaps not. Um, I'm thinking. I feel like Ray definitely struggled with his landings. I think he felt like maybe this is just like the nature of Banjo in the matchup, but no, he's going to be sticking with Banjo. It looks like just a stage swap. But yep. what stage could it be? I wonder aloud. Lila, okay. It's going to be Lila. I, I'm not even going to pretend to know why he went there, it'll only be a guess. So, I'm just going to trust Ray's best instinct. So, let's do the drag down back here into the tilt. Um, and I believe that that's like trying to go for the mix up there because if, uh, if Haji tries to go for the shield, he might try to mix it up with the grab. So, it like sets up like an interesting like 50-50 there. Yeah, it is one of the few like confirmed, more confirmed things that you can get out of the drag down back air. Unfortunately, I don't believe that the grab is a is a true is something true on block, which yeah, is no. which is fine because Banjo does get a decent amount out of grab. Mm -hmm. Really nice usage of the grenade. Like once again, covering his landings, baiting these lasers. Um, has a slight percent lead, albeit negligible, and no longer existing. As as say that. A rough waste of the of the wonder when bang, uh, banging into the ledge of the stage as opposed to getting back on. Yeah. She just does a raw uh, forward smash right in front of uh, Hydra's shield. One of Banjo's like best anti-air tools, oddly enough, is that forward smash being such a crazy disjoint. Hydra, he's holding center stage super, super firm right now. Ray trying to maybe capitalize on that, going through a very, very aggressive, uh, just like attack. We just saw him dashing in once again, using the grenade as a cover. I love the way that Ray is using the grenades and, and the eggs just to like protect himself. I feel that Wonder Wing comes. Oh, never mind. I felt like all of that like cons constant use of like grenade, shoot one egg, grenade, shoot one egg. He was just waiting for. Uh, for Hydra to settle down into some sort of reflector or shield as, oh, he's going way high. Yeah, like once again, like, Hydra could not go for the two frame there because there was a grenade perfectly covering him. The way that Ray is able to get back onto stage is really, really patient, it's very smart, making the most out of his character's resources. And Hydra knows that if he tries to go out there and try to challenge Ray's recovery while doing that, he's gonna get blown up for it. Ray is pacing himself really, really well. Hydra is looking for a good hit. Try to get a couple of conversions off. Oh, 
Yeah, mixing up his usage of Lazu and shields and and like and his uh, reflectors so that Ray wouldn't get too comfortable at all. Also, I think you're pressing the gong button for you to uh God damn it. <laughs> I'm about to throw this lap. <laughs> uh, okay. As I was saying to apparently myself, uh, Hydra seems to be like flagging behind in terms of like setting up the pacing for this matchup, while he will spend five seconds mashing these fares and nares, like trying to land on Ray with an aggressive tool. He will then, in the next for the next ten seconds, stay way back, short hopping and empty hopping around on the other side of the stage and shooting lasers occasionally. It's something that, like, while would be apply some sort of mental pressure for getting in and out, such as player as Wolf can tend to do, Reyes seems to be so experienced with that kind of play that he's not really letting it phase him. Just instead sticking to his game plan. Oh my God! And that side me mm. just. Hydra has shot so many of those. It's the first one that's actually connected. And just like that, he's brought it back all the way to even. Three minutes on the clock. Ray was originally just like planning on holding his lead for such a, for as long as possible, but that no longer seems to be the case. This game is too close for that. Yes, he really bought himself like a lot of time, not having to worry about trying to take this stock from a heavy banjo with a raw kill kill option, since he was out of a lot of the confirmed ranges that Wolf has. So now that is completely skipped, and we're right back to neutral in this really close game. Yep. Ray is doing a good job of dodging all of Hydra's attempts to interact. Hydra needs to find, like, as soon as Hydra, like, gets one good hit, like, you know, there's going to be definitely, like, five more of those coming. But on a stage like Lilat, I feel like I can see why they chose this now. The specific platform arrangement, the specific ceiling height, everything just allows him to play in the corner so well. What a down smash. Catching that two frame, or, yeah, that looks like a two frame. I don't know if fan just down smash reaches below any yeah, stage, yeah. let alone Lilat. Um, I think... I think Down Smash is able to hit slightly under, but also on slanted stages, most notably Yoshi Story and Lilat, it becomes much easier to hit opponents on their way up, even before the two-frame window. Oh, uh, because... yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Just because they're physically closer to them. Right. And we're going to see Game 3 come out for these these two competitors. Winner's final, so guaranteed third. As the stage is being, uh, being selected. Yeah, so game three, Ray, I feel like, is very confident in his game plan now. It's choosing to, I mean, I don't want to say, like, not interact, but that he was playing a very good game of keep away um, from, from Hydra for the most part. So if Hydra is able to find himself a nice small stage, he's going to be able to stay up in his face. Speaking of small stage. Yeah, got Yoshi slowly. Um, I could still see this benefiting Ray, though. Yeah, I feel like this is a, like a decent banjo stage since the platform layout allows for a large, uh, a larger center stage, and the uh, the sides are a pretty. The wider platforms make it easy to uh, start spawning gren uh, grenade eggs on, uh, and he's able to control center really well off of those. But for Wolf, he's able to hop in between from one side to the other super well. And that was a large part of Hydra's game plan, how he was, would spontaneously hop in like he did with that Nair right there. Like hop in, apply this pressure, see what uh, see what Ray does, and then move back out and start shooting lasers and start to really apply some of this mental pressure. So he's holding the stage very, very well right now. I like that he's giving Hydra enough space because if he pushes a little too far into the corner, Obviously, Wolf is going to be able to jump through all of his pressure. Nice one, he wants to be able to take out the first stock. Ray has a lead. Yeah, he caught he caught the uh, the laser portion of Hydra's game plan and punished it hard with that Wonder Wing. The no, I'm I'm coming after you button. Oh, what what what? Oh no. Oh no. He said, you know what? I don't want this lead. You can have it. Yoshi said, no, you don't have that lead. 
Hajio finally able to connect the hit. Not able to get his full punish though. Wow, he, that micro spacing on the Nair, making sure to drift just enough to be outside of Wolf's grab range. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, making sure the spot does the weak hit Nair. Doesn't confirm until a little bit of a later percent. Yeah, didn't have enough, didn't have enough uh, hits on Felix to actually confirm to something. Once again, nice call out on the laser, noticing that Hydra really, really likes to throw it out in the corners. Yeah, Red's really got a beat on what Hydra wants to do in a lot of situations. And when he, when he, he reacts to these micro movements, these dash backs, these pop backs, or these hop ins, he's making sure to pick these right options mm -hmm. that counter those plays, whether it be, oh, I see you're going to come in with Nair shield i see you're dashing you're touching back and turning around like i'm gonna start pulling at you with the wonder wing he's always in a place that hydra doesn't want him to be <laughs> okay it's starting to run away with it a little bit already 44 percent on hydra right now hydra needs to find a way to close out the stock right now but ray is just not giving him a chance at all to play his game he's playing just so patiently nice use of the grenade once again I feel like Hydra doesn't know what to do uh, in response oh, to that. I like that. I like that. He was going through the tech roll and um, it was a lead. You know, he didn't get it. He had a good idea though. Wow, he's not giving him an inch with all of this. Good lord. Wow. I'm like stunned at how dominant he just kind of became in that last stock. It's like, I know the movements that you make. I know your tells. I know your habits. Even not, even not like huge habits, like some stuff like coming off the ledge. It's like if you short hop back, like in a in a direction towards the corner, you're gonna be wanting to shoot a laser. Like if you once you shoot a laser twice or three times in a row, that's when you jump. It's mm -hmm. like it's just yeah, no, catching those I feel little like things. The two the two biggest things that Ray had a lead on that definitely helped them in the matchup. Number one. Ray quickly picked up on the fact that I can do a B-reverse 